Hello, my name is James Bryan, and we are here in Cairns, Far North Queensland, Australia. And the topic is Chakra Meditation. I am the program director of the Kanaf Yoga School, and I'm also one of the master teachers. I travel nationally and internationally running courses, workshops, and teacher training. In conjunction with my life partner, Nikki Knopf, I have opened five yoga studios in both Australia and America. I started yoga in 1982, and in 1986, I went to Pune, India to study directly with BKS Iyengar. In 1989, I went to Mysore, India to study with K. Patabi Joyce. In 1989, I also did my very first Vipassana meditation course, direct with Goenka. And from these studies, I have developed this chakra meditation format, and it is specifically aimed at Westerners. We've taken the traditional approach, filtered it through the Western mindset to make it much more accessible and understandable. I think you'll find that it's very easy to implement into your practice, and I do recommend that you incorporate asana, pranayama, and relaxation with it. And you'll see with the, the notes, the handout notes that come with this program, that it's very straightforward and easy to follow. I started yoga in 1982, and uh, in those days, meditation was talked about, but it wasn't actually included in the classes. I had to investigate for myself. I've looked into this very deeply. I've tried many different types of meditation, and I found that this chakra meditation with its clear technique works extremely well for a lot of people. I have read many different books on chakra meditation, and it became quite clear to me that what these authors were doing were reading all the available books and just reformulating it and writing their own book without any real practical experience. And uh, there are a few books that I've come across, for example, the ones by Gopi Krishna, which relate to real experience, but most of them, I think, are just coming at it from a theoretical point of view. This chakra meditation that I'm sharing with you now is based on my own personal experience um, on traditional techniques but it's been modernized to make sure that it's accessible, understandable, and effective. This chakra meditation program is designed for yoga students who have had more than two years experience. It is important that you incorporate it with asana and pranayama so that you have a balanced practice. It is a strong technique, and if you don't balance it with these other aspects of the yoga, you can become unhinged and crazy. And <laughs> this chakra meditation program is designed for students who are beyond beginner's level. You want to make sure that you have a strong practice, a solid practice in asana and pranayama, and then add this component to it. A lot of people approach meditation haphazardly. This is a very specific technical program. It's easy to implement, but it should be implement, implemented properly. And when you do that, you'll find that it'll elevate your practice to a new level. Obviously, 
If you were to dissect the human body, you are not going to find the chakras. That doesn't mean they're not there. Try to think of them more as concepts. For example, when we talk about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, the superconscious mind, in my own personal experience, I have found that they do exist. When I put my mind into these areas, I find very strong bolts of energy, and when I get the whole thing up and running, I have a very powerful light of energy that moves from the base of my spine upwards through the crown chakra. And as long as I stay focused, that light stays incredibly powerful. And that is why, again, I recommend that you have a balanced practice to make sure that you stay stable. There are many different types of meditation. There are many different approaches to meditation. The chakra meditation, in my experience, is very clear, it's very linear, it's very easy to follow, and I find it works extremely effective for particularly vata constitutional types. You might have heard of Ayurveda, it's the sister science of yoga, and there's vata, pitta, and kapha as the individual constitutional types. People who have very active minds will find the chakra meditation extremely effective in getting them to slow down, to getting the change taking place in the brainwave patterns so that they feel centered, calm, and peaceful and are then able to move out into life and be more effective. Treat chakra meditation with respect. It is not a toy. It can be unsettling. It can knock your nervous system around if you don't work it in conjunction with asana and pranayama to make sure that you have a balanced program. Ease your way into it. Just slowly incorporate these techniques and make sure that you are comfortable before you do the whole program in one setting. Regarding the practice of chakra meditation, I recommend that you ease your way into it. Start off by adding just a few of the techniques, and when you're comfortable, add a few more. My personal practice is asana, relaxation, pranayama, and meditation, and I do recommend practicing in that order. So the asana practice is going to open you up physically, breath work will get the energy flowing, and then the chakra meditation will allow you to tap into that energy and direct it through your body. Once you've become familiar with the techniques, then I recommend doing the whole program three times per week. When you are solid with this three times per week, then it is time to step it up to six times per week. Always have one day as a rest. Thank you.